Just three decades ago, Iraq had a wealth of water resources and was considered an agricultural powerhouse in the region. But the effects of climate change, environmental policies and years of conflict have taken a toll on Iraq's water supplies with serious economic, health and social impacts on the population. In the past 25 years, the level of water has fallen by more than two-thirds. Severe drought has forced 100,000 people in northern Iraq to evacuate their homes since 2005. UNESCO, Iraq's natural sciences team, has been working since 2007 with local government authorities and other Iraqi experts and community members to increase water security by helping restore traditional water systems in rural communities and providing training for sustainable water management. Remote villages in northern Iraq still depend on thousand-year-old underground water tunnels called karas that infiltrate groundwater and lead to the surface through gravity, providing a sustainable long-term water solution. UNESCO worked with experts such as Professor Dale Lightfoot, a geographer from Oklahoma State University and a renowned expert on ancient infiltration systems in the Middle East to conduct a survey on Karas in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. The village collectively um, um, collects a little bit of money from each house anytime they need some repairs and they have indicated uh, willingness to donate labor and whatever time they can to try to repair this Karez. Uh, they just don't have the tools and they don't have the, the knowledge for, for how to make their Karez work again and uh, they have some kind of very vague plans about sinking a well or something. They're just basically desperate for water which is why they're you know hauling in water via tractor. Um, now, just so that they can stay a little while longer until they seek a solution. They just really don't know where to turn. Almost 40% of 683 caris documented in the region had dried up and had been abandoned since the onset of drought in 2005. <laughs> To ensure the survival of these communities, UNESCO Iraq worked on the restoration of 20 karas systems that were on the verge of drying up. As a result, over 1,000 families benefited from increased access to drinking water and now have sufficient water to maintain their livelihoods. Communities were trained in managing their new caras, ensuring a sustainable source of water. Other communities will stand to benefit from UNESCO's survey, which provided the government with information on the location and condition of over 680 caras in the northern region of the country. However, the region remains vulnerable with an estimated 30,000 individuals on the verge of having to abandon their communities. UNESCO Iraq calls on the international community to recognize that much more needs to be done.